Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. What's Up Nails recently sent me 8 of their stamping polishes as well as 6 stamping plates for me to try out. I've only ever tried out their nail vinyls, which I absolutely love, so I'm very excited to try out these stamping plates and stamping polishes. And I've got some really fun nail art planned with their vinyls and their stamping plates, but in today's video, I'm just going to be sharing the swatches of these 8 different stamping polishes. I'm going to show you what these polishes look like swatched on their own as well as what they look like stamped over a white polish and black polish. These polishes, with the exception of Blanc My Mind and Silver Agent, were recently released and they're all available on the What's Up Nails website. The stamping polishes retail for $8.95 each and the stamping plates that I'm going to be using in this video retail for $7.75 each. These polishes are all vegan, cruelty free, and 7 free and each bottle contains 11 milliliters of nail polish. And before we move on to the swatches, I want to show you the six different stamping plates, but first I just want to say I love the packaging. The packaging on these stamping plates and the stamping polishes were hollow and it looked so cool. I probably just stared at them for a few minutes when I opened the box and even the instructions on the back are holographic, so that was just a little thing, but it looked so cool. And the six stamping plates that I have are B044 from Ground Comes Life. B061, Summer in the Countryside, B056, Coasting to the Sea, B046, Petal to the Metal, A020, Floralize Your Texture, and finally B058, which is the collaboration plate with Nails and Towel. So these plates come with the holographic sleeve, and on the back you have instructions as to how to use these plates and how to stamp. At first I thought these plates didn't have a protective film on top, but once I removed the plate from the sleeve, I did see a clear plastic film on top. Sometimes it's blue so it's easier to see, but regardless you do need to remove this protective film before you stamp. And now let's go ahead and get on into the swatches. So the first one I have is Blanc My Mind, and this one is a classic. It's not one of the new ones, but this is a very pigmented white stamping polish. Here it is swatched on its own and it's really opaque but I did need two coats to reach full opacity. I did find that this one was a little bit thicker than some of the other polishes but it wasn't hard to work with. And to test how it works as a stamping polish, I'm going to be stamping this floral design from the A020 Floralize Your Texture stamping plate. And obviously it's not going to show up over a white polish so I'm going to stamp it over a silver polish and a black polish. So here are two coats of Blanc My Mind and stamped over silver and black. This one is Cloud Canvas which is a medium blue cream stamping polish and this one had a really good formula. It was almost almost opaque on that first coat but I did need a second to reach full opacity. And I'm going to use this B056 Coasting to the Sea stamping plate to stamp this really cute fish design. Cloud Canvas stamped really well over both the white and the black polishes and it didn't lose any of its color when it was stamped over a dark polish so that was great. So here are two coats of Cloud Canvas and stamped over white and black. This is Nip It In The Bud and this is a bright light green cream stamping polish. And just like Cloud Canvas, Nip It In The Bud has a really good formula, especially for a color like this. It was really opaque, it did need two coats to reach full opacity, but it was really easy to work with. And I did notice that it dried down a little bit darker than when it applied, but I could barely notice a difference when I applied a top coat. I'm going to use the B044 from Ground Comes Life stamping plate to stamp this leaf image over a white and black polish. Again, this one stamped great over both the white and black polishes, but I especially was impressed with how well it looked stamped over the black. So here are two coats of Nip It In The Bud and stamped over white and black.
This one is called Floral Correlation and this is a beautiful coral cream stamping polish. This is just such a pretty shade of coral and it was almost completely opaque in one coat but I did end up throwing on a second coat. I'm going to use the same stamping plate B044 from Ground Comes Life to stamp this rose image with floral correlation. Again, I have absolutely no complaints about how it stamped over both the white and the black polishes. It stayed true to color and it just looks amazing over both. So here are two coats of floral correlation and stamped over white and black. And the last cream is called Bargain Villa and this is a fuchsia cream stamping polish. So just like the other creams, this one had a really good formula. It did require two coats to reach full opacity, but I, with all of these stamping polishes, even though they're super pigmented, I didn't find that they were thick or hard to work with at all. And I'm going to use the B061 Summer in the Countryside stamping plate to stamp this raspberry image over white and black. I feel like I'm repeating myself when I say that this polish stamped amazingly over both the white and the black polishes and it just goes to show how pigmented these stamping polishes are. So here are two coats of Bargain Villa and stamped over white and black. And onto the metallic shades, this one is Silver Agent and I gotta say I love the name and just as it suggests it's a metallic silver stamping polish. This one was opaque in two coats and I did have some brush strokes still visible even though a lot of them disappeared as the polish dried down so just keep that in mind if you are wearing this polish on its own. When I stamped this image from the B046 Petal to the Metal stamping plate I had no issues with the brush strokes and it did stamp really nicely. Again, it stamps really nicely over both the white and the black, even though I think that this polish pops a little bit more over darker polishes. So here are two coats of Silver Agent and stamped over white and black. This one is a metallic purple polish and it's called Looking for a Star. This is one of the new releases and this one is so, so, so pretty. Even though it's a metallic polish, I had absolutely no issues with brush strokes even when I swatched it on its own and it was opaque in two coats. And to test it out as a stamping polish, I'm going to use the same stamping plate B046 Petal to the Metal to stamp this swirly design. No surprise here, but it stamps really nicely over the white and it looks really, really pretty over the black. So here are two coats of Looking for a Star swatched on its own and stamped over white and black. And the final polish is another new release. This one is called Greenback Miner and this is a greenish gold metallic stamping polish. This one is probably my favorite because I think it's such a unique shade of gold with the green tint. It also covers really nicely in two coats and just like Looking for a Star I had no problems with brush strokes when swatched on its own. And for this polish, I'm going to be using the B058 Collaboration Plate with Nails and Towel to stamp this galaxy slash constellation design. Again, this one stamped well over both the white and the black, but I will say I do prefer how it looks stamped over the black because I feel like the gold just pops a little bit more. So here are two coats of Greenback Miner swatched on its own and stamped over white and black. So here is one more look at all of the eight polishes swatched on their own and stamped over white and black. And I was super impressed by how they stamped over black. They are so pigmented and they didn't lose any color when stamped over a dark color, which is really impressive. I think my favorite out of the whole bunch is probably Greenback Miner because it's just such a unique shade of gold. But I will say that a bunch of these are going to be some of my staple stamping polishes, especially Blanc My Mind, because until now I hadn't found a good white stamping polish. 
So that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the swatches of the What's Up Nails stamping polishes. Again, they're available on the What's Up Nails website, and I'll leave some links down below. And if you're new to my channel, I do swatches, reviews, and nail art tutorials, so be sure to subscribe. And anyways, I will see you guys next time. Bye!